She's fantastic. But Crooked Joe wrecked our economy with brutal inflation and $2 trillion deficits. You hear our deficits are going to be $2 trillion this year. $2 trillion. His weakness, failure, and incompetence have set the world on fire. He is a threat to democracy. By the way, just by being so incompetent, he's a threat to democracy. His Marxist administration is pushing radical gender ideology into every school, and I'm sure this group is not particularly happy with that. And Crooked Joe has demonstrated uh, an amazing ability to, you know, he's just to demolish the rule of law by arresting political opponents, dissidents, Christians, pro-life activists, like a third world dictator would do. It's a disgrace what's happened to our country in such a short period of time, three and a half years. What's happened to our country, it's not even believable. Our one chance to save America from these left-wing fascists is less than — it's now four months. Can you believe it? I've been saying seven, six, five. It's now we're in between four and five months from now. November 5th, going to go down as the most important day in the history of our country. I'm telling you, because we're not going to have — I hope we can get there without ending in a world war. You know, Russia — Russia's got uh, submarines now very nicely in Cuba. You know where Cuba is? It's about two feet away from Florida. No, they've got ships there. And they're talking about, you know, going after Russia in Ukraine and giving them authorization to go after Russia. You know, where is this thing going to? And I've said it. I will get that war solved if there's anything left. If there's anything left, I'll get it solved as president-elect before I ever get into the White House. But we need Christian voters to turn out in the largest numbers ever to tell crooked Joe Biden, Joe, the apprentice, Joe, you're fired. You're fired, Joe. Get out of here, Joe. You're no good. You've been the worst president ever. You're fired, Joe. Get out. No, worst president in the history of our country. As you know, the radical left is trying to shame Christians, silence you, demoralize you, and they want to keep you out of politics. They don't want you to vote. That's why you have to vote. They're counting on you now. Because if you vote, no, we cannot lose. They don't want you to vote. But Christians cannot afford to sit on the sidelines. If Joe Biden gets back in, Christianity will not be safe in a nation with no borders, no laws, no freedom, no future. You're not going to be safe. You're not going to be safe as a person. And your religion certainly will be I think in tatters. You want to know the truth? I think in tatters. You see what they're doing. And, and I don't know. It's less, a little bit less to do with this room, but we all care. What's going on with Catholics? They are being persecuted. Catholics, what is that all about? By this guy, this guy, this man that has no idea what the hell is happening. And by the way, I don't believe it is him. I think it's the people that surround him, the fascist, communist, the young, very smart, vicious people. Because I don't think he knows he's alive, you want to know the truth, okay? <laughs> the reason the radical left will always come after religious believers is simple, because they know that our allegiance is not to them. Our allegiance is not to them. Our allegiance is to our country, and our allegiance is to our Creator. <laughs> and we do not answer to the bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. You're not even allowed to say that anymore. Today, if you say that, they want to arrest you. If you say that, they want to arrest you. Who likes the Ten Commandments?